pretty far up this fire access road and into a new area that I've never been to before. I brought limited gear in my bag. I tried to stuff in as much as I could because I want to travel light. Brought my shotgun out and uh, looking for grouse, but I brought some slugs in case I see a deer, but the chances of me harvesting a deer are slim to nil, but a boy can dream. In any case, I just want to explore this area. So uh, we're going light and swift and uh, seeing if we can get some food from the woods. So come along, it should be fun. Those are tracks, that's a track there. That's a track there, a track there. Could very well be deer. That's fresh deer sign right there. Looks like there's deer in this area, which is cool. I did, oh, there's lots. I did bring my rifle. I could go put my rifle, my shotgun back and get my rifle out. That's the glossiest, freshest deer sign I've ever seen. It's like straight out the butt, like just now. That's fresh deer poo. There's a lot of really good fresh deer sign around here. I'm tempted to go put my shotgun away. While you can technically take a deer with a shotgun, I have a slug loaded in the chamber right now, which is essentially like a really big bullet. I don't feel comfortable using the iron sights on the shotgun to take down a deer. That's why I'm gonna go switch out for the rifle. I know that I'm a lot better of a shooter and a lot more accurate with that gun. So that's the main reason why I'm switching rifles. There's deer in these woods and uh, it'd be really, really nice to be able to bring some meat home, fill my freezer and eat venison for the next couple months. I mean, the thought of that is just so appealing. <laughs> I'm sure you can get behind that. Shotguns all locked up, ammo's put away safely, car's locked, got the rifle out, got ammo for it, got my binos. Time to head back out. I only have about four hours left of light for the day, so I should get after. Before I started hunting, I was really confused as to why hunters wore hunter's orange. I guess I kind of knew that they had to wear them so they would signal to other hunters that they're in the woods. But I figured they would stand out like a sore thumb to deer. But what I learned is that deer don't see orange. It comes across as brown and green. And what's also interesting is that Siberian tigers, you know how they're orange? They evolved to be orange because they can't, I don't think mammals can naturally produce like green pigment in their skin. So they evolved to be orange, so they look like camouflage to ungulates. Ungulates are hooved animals. That's a deer track. Classic. It's a classic Canadian pop right there. I've seen more fresh deer scat in the last 20, 25 minutes than I did on the entire five day trip that I did with Tosh last week. Fresh moose poo. Moose poo? Deer poo. Probably moose tracks. More moose. So far I'm pretty sure this video has just been me looking at turds. I was hoping to get a little bit further around this lake, but due to that channel, the access between this side of the lake and that side is uh, a little bit more difficult than I was hoping. I want to hunt in this area later this evening. So found this big open spot. I'm going to call this home for the night. I'm going to set up and uh, Get some wood, maybe eat a little bit, and then get back out for uh, for the evening hunt or for sunset, which is in about uh, two hours. All right, no luck tonight. There's a good sign in the area, but didn't hear anything, didn't see anything. Head back to camp, cook some dinner. Pretty nasty water. 
That's all we got though. It's a deer rub. <laughs> Could be a moose, but that's fresh. Right like that. There we go. Ooh. That was the worst cooked bacon I've ever had. Sweet potato. Okay, that piece of bacon was better. Well, this is about the time that we uh, fill our bellies, but today we didn't bring too much, so we're gonna eat just small dinner. Get in the bed, wake up nice and early for for the hunt tomorrow. Holy moly! That's a piece of bacon. It's only like nine o'clock, but the sun set about four hours ago, so it feels really late. I'm just getting into bed. Well, I guess I'm all snuggled up already. But the plan is to wake up with the sun, maybe a little earlier, and try to get myself in a position to perhaps. Get a look at a deer. Good morning everyone. So I just found out that my mic cable wasn't plugged in all the way. Although it looked like it was, it wasn't. So my mic didn't pick up any audio this morning. So essentially what happened is I got up, it was about negative five degrees, about 22 degrees Fahrenheit, really cold morning. Got a fire going, made some coffee and loaded my gun and got out. Plan was to go check this marshy area that I've been hunting around yesterday and then there was a marsh to my, my south I wanted to check out. Went down to the water to get a good view and I heard wolves howling to my north. They were uh, quite close and it was uh, quite the spectacle. That was really cool and so I traipsed through the woods a little bit, saw a bunch of moose sign. Probably older but definitely moose in the area. Made my way down to the southern marsh and wanted to see if I could get through the area but I couldn't and when I got down there I started hearing these dogs barking in the distance. It sounds like somebody's running deer with dogs. What they do is they have a bunch of hunters set up along a des designated route and then they have hunters and dogs push the deer out of a certain area towards those hunters. Not my style but I'm sure it's effective. I heard the wolves again and the wolves were very close. Probably as close as I've ever heard them. They've been extremely vocal this morning. I I take it that they've got a kill. Or maybe they came across a gut pile from from some hunters. In any case, I've been out here for an hour and a half, maybe two hours at this point. I'm gonna walk around a little bit and then go back to camp, make some breakfast, maybe have another coffee. God, I really hope I got some audio of those wolves because that was, that was really cool. Just chugging. That's moose. That's definitely moose. It's clearly my footprints, but right here. Moose. Moose. Been out here for a little bit. I'm gonna head back to camp. I'm gonna make some breakfast, have another coffee.
Toodle <sighs> Strawberry granola with milk. Mmm. That's a hit. I'm gonna pack up camp. There's an area to my east that I want to explore. West. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna break camp and uh, travel, I don't know, a couple kilometers that way. Explore that whole forested area. And then uh, set up camp and then go hunting later this evening. That's a moose. So to my south is that lake and the swamp. My north is private land. So I cut through the swamp, just barely. It's pretty tough. Now I'm on this whole swath of open crown. I think the private land kind of like protects this area, but um, because I was able to bypass it, hopefully I have it all to myself. Hey, moosey, moosey, moosey. Could this be a bed? There's a rub. Or is that a scrape? This could be a bedding area. And with that space over here, I'm just trampling my scent all through this land. Maybe I'll camp right in there. So I made a little shelter. This looks like a good place to camp, but I'm gonna camp here for the night. But it's okay. I'm gonna set up the tarp here. There's not many flat places in the area, so we're just gonna call this flat enough and uh, go from there. Well, I'd absolutely love to have a fire right in front of my shelter. There's a lot of dead trees around here with a lot of dead branches, and I would just absolutely hate to start a root fire. So I'm gonna do it over here, far away from all the dead roots, and uh, just absolutely cover the base of the fire pit with rocks, make a nice surround, and that should be good. Also, keep an eye, I'll keep an eye on it. Pretty cool little shelter. If anybody's wondering why these are cut so high, it's because somebody was probably here in the winter when all the snow drifts piled up high. And uh, this would have been about waist level, maybe even knee level when they cut it. Because the snow would have been real, really up there. It's two o'clock. Means we have two and a half, three hours of sunlight left for the day. I'm gonna explore this area. All of this seems to be forest and not marsh. So I'm gonna walk through it slowly, look for sign, and then uh, maybe find a nice place to post up for the night or for the evening. Deer are a little bit more active at sunrise and sunset than they are in the middle of the day. Moose, more moose. Oh yeah, that's some juicy wintergreen. Mm, There's that tree right there, the one in the back. That looks like a good spot to post up. All right, so it turns out this is not a good spot. The wind just picked up and it's blowing in the direction of where I'm looking. So, which means that if any animal comes through here, they're gonna smell me. So I'm gonna start hiking again and uh, I'm gonna be looking into the wind. So their scent is coming towards me, which I can't smell, obviously a human nose, but they won't be able to smell me. They have strong noses, very strong sniffers. It's a deer scrape.
help bucks will come, they'll turn up the ground with their antlers, pee in it, mix it all up. And usually it has to do with a branch over top. I'm not sure the deal with that, but another scrape. There's another scrape. So much deer sign around here. This is incredible. This whole game trail. I gotta head back though. It's getting late and uh, I'm a few kilometers away from home. Camp. Another scrape. Looks like a fresh one. It also looks like one. It's a great area. I just wish I had more time. Sure was a heck of a lot faster getting back than it was getting out there. When I was heading out there, I was walking nice and slow and trying to listen for everything. At that last spot there before I sat down, I definitely heard something crashing through the woods. It was faint and it was across the marsh, but it was something. Honestly, it could have just been a squirrel. It's really hard to tell <laughs> sometimes because it was brief. Cool thing about being out here and, and uh, trying to hunt is that you develop a much more keen sense for, for everything around you. You really got to use all your senses and I only traveled like a kilometer this afternoon, but it took two and a half hours. I was just stopping, looking at everything, listening. Honestly, I feel like if I keep this up, I'll know every little minute detail of squirrel movement. <laughs> because you're just listening to absolutely everything. I must have seen like 40 scat piles. <laughs> yeah, it's been a lot of fun being out here. I think it's time to get into dinner. Kung Pao chicken tonight. That's what we had at home. It's probably one of my least favorite bag meals. Chaga. We also got this coconut mango tea. Throw that in there. Kung Pao chicken. Mmm. It's like black. It tastes like scolding. It tastes like scolding hot water. Ah, it's okay. Chug is good for you because it has uh, one of like the highest densities of antioxidants of any substance known to man. Something like that. It's high in antioxidants. So, uh, and apparently those are good for you. So. There's those wolves again. Heard them all morning, but now they seem to be a little bit further away. Chilly night, uh, perfect for 
boiling Nalgene in my sleeping bag. This is filled up with boiling water. Time to toss this in my sleeping bag. That'll be a nice warming bottle of water to uh, keep me nice and toasty as I get in. It's like 10 o'clock. This is probably the latest I've been up on one of these camping trips lately because the sun set over five hours ago. In any case, I'm going to wake up tomorrow and go check out that spot I was, uh, was at this afternoon and hopefully get a look at a deer. Alright, good morning everyone. It's 5.45. I'm getting up. I'm uh, going to pack up and head to my spot. I slept really well. So the wind switched directions and it's probably blowing my scent absolutely everywhere. I mean, I can smell myself. It's, it's yeah, we're strong smelling today. I've been brewing. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm gonna start heading back because the rain's starting to come down. I don't want to get too soaked. So, time to start heading back. No luck this trip. In fact, rifle season's over, so uh, I'll be locking this guy up for the year. But it was fun to get out and uh, fun to try, you know. I think the reward of all that meat will be worth it in the end. I'd be excited to cook some meals with fresh venison that I harvested myself. The thought of that just sounds so appealing. In any case, great little trip and uh, ready to get home, have a nice warm shower. Hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.